you have no idea what you're looking at, we were in the exact same boat about five minutes ago. So it's a Studebaker, mid 1950s, 56, 57, I believe. I'm probably wrong. Emblem, flathead screw through the center. <laughs> I know that's not factory, or honestly, maybe it is. I'm not particularly familiar or excited about this era of cars. However, I think this is gonna make a fairly good video. So this car is my friend Tom's. He's had it for a while. It was sitting outside obviously, but it's about to get listed for auction in the States. So our job is to clean it up and get it ready for photos so he can get it up and listed. First order of business is to take care of all this dirt on the paint. It's absolutely covered in pigeon poo. Every vertical facing surface is disgusting. It's really, really nasty. There's mold in places, rust everywhere, and then just more and more bird poo. So what we're gonna do is a waterless wash. We can't use water on this car because all the gaskets are failing, panels are separated, the paint's basically ready to fly off the car. So no water, we're gonna use steam, APC, and ONR to kinda use a dry rub method with a bunch of microfiber towels that'll have to go in the garbage anyways because of all the bird poo. So it might add defects to the paint, but it's, it doesn't matter. This car is, you, you're looking at it, you can see it. Once we're done doing that and it's done and clean, we're gonna attempt to polish this paint and see if we can get a little bit of gloss out of it. If you look at it, you can barely even see the reflection of the lights on the ceiling. Those are super, super bright. You can't see any reflection of anything else, just the actual lights. So we're gonna try and polish this and get as much gloss out of it as possible because one of the things I do like about this car is the color and mixed up all the rust in different places. I think it looks, well, it should look pretty cool. A little bit of a patina vibe to it. So we're gonna do that polish and pad combo. I'm actually gonna use a bunch of old burner pads, basically ones that are ready to go in the garbage, because if you look at some of this paint up close, you can see it's flaking in a bunch of places. And if those flakes go into a new pad or a good pad, it's rendered useless and I can't use it again. So I'm gonna use old pads and I'm gonna pair them with, of course, Griot's Fast Correcting Cream, like literally every other detail. But before we do that, gotta get it clean. So. We're gonna start with the wheels and tires, and for those, I actually am gonna use water because that's not really gonna negatively affect them, and you kinda really need it to clean the tires. So, let's get into it. 